Welcome to MFQ Football. Please subscribe and like this video. Today, we're going to get back into the nine-man football game. We're going to talk about the counter shovel pass. We implemented this towards the end of our season this year, going into the playoffs. Actually, our receiver coach came up with the idea. Uh, we wanted to find ways to get our outside receivers the ball more, just to give us more threats than we already had. Um, so as you can see, I've drawn this up on the left against a four-man surface, uh, basically against a 4-3 defense. Uh, and then on the right side against the 3-3 three, three, um, defense with the three-man surface up front. Um, so on this play, the quarterback is going to shovel the ball to the X. Um, if you were to flip it, you'd be shoveling the ball to the Z. We ran this mostly out of the compressed bunch this year. However, you can run it out of different uh, uh, formations or variations, depending on how you want to attack. Um, we ran a lot of compressed bunch. We ran buck sweep and, and power to the to the compressed bunch side and our, and our real true counter was more of a shallow cross backside. So this was a, a way to kind of give us another play going back uh, away from the compressed bunch. The quarterback also could um, take, if he sees that there's nothing to the uh, backside of the play, he had the, the, the ability to, to take off. And then you could RPO this play as well. Instead of having the Z receiver block the uh, corner, you could have him run a hitch or a fat slant or whatever whatever uh, route concept uh, you, you like on this play. Okay, the, the T, we really want to run this play through the A gap. Um, it's something that the other the, the defense isn't expecting. It also less running um, across the formation for the X receiver being that outside receiver in the, in the compressed bunch. So the T is going to come through and he's going to block the middle linebacker. Um, and then the H on this one, he's going to pull – um, go in motion. He's going to chip the end. What we're more concerned about is getting to that play side outside linebacker more than we are about the end because we're going a gap. So he wants to chip the end, just slow his momentum and then get to that play side linebacker. The Y is going to block the emo on the backside, the backside, a guard is going to block a gap down backer. Um, and then the center is going to block on down to on down to the backer. So, that guard and that e and that Y who are blocking the e mole, they're gonna take that defensive end and run him and double and get to that that backside weak side linebacker in a perfect world. Um, and then a play side guard's obviously gonna take that uh, that end that's on top of him. And um, knowing that the play is coming through the A gap, he's gonna want to push him towards the B gap. So that's how we run uh, the the counter shovel again. It's a it's a quarterback shoveling it to the X receiver. So if it's dropped, it's an incomplete pass. Um, no harm done. Okay. Uh, against the three man front, this is the ideal front that we like to run it against. It gives us more um, advantage in our opinion. Uh, same deal. Quarterback in a shovel to the X has the ability to run backside if he wants. Uh, could also RPO the Z. The H is going to pull and he's going to go through the A gap behind the tailback and he's going to kick out that that. Uh, that's that Sam linebacker, um, and and the and the uh, the H no, has to know if it's a four man front or a three man front. And if that Sam linebacker is coming downhill and he's outside the end, that H has the ability not to go through the A gap and just kick out that C gap or that B gap, I guess, in nine man football. So uh, H knows he's got a couple reads on that on, on both of them, whether it's a four man front or a three man front. What he what they have to do. Uh, the Y, again, is going to block the emo. The backside guard is going to go gap down backer. Uh, and then the center is going to go on down backer. Um, and then because we want to run this A gap, um, we're going to, the, the guard, the play side guard against the three-man front is actually going to kick out that end uh, rather than go into his inside gap first. So if he sees something out there and he knows that the H is supposed to come up the middle, uh, he's going to do that. Okay. So I know it sounds a little bit complex, but it's really simple. Uh, we're going to go into some clips now from the season. Like I said, don't have a whole lot of clips on this because we only put it in towards the end of the playoffs. This is actually the first time we ran this play. Uh, it was our final game of the season. Um, and we just needed something. To, this was the first play of the second half. We need something to give us a little spark. There you go. See the running back right up. Slot back really didn't go where he was supposed to go. But as you can see, it does give because we were in a compressed bunch to one side that give us a 12 yard gain in the first down on the first time we ran. So pretty good, pretty good concept there. Here's another play here. Um, same, same deal. We're going to go um, to the left out of a compressed bunch to the right. Um, and obviously they're in a four man front. So it's going to look a little bit different with a blitzer coming look like. So obviously there goes, 
the running back up there. And then there goes the runner there, a nice big play again. It really hits fast. Uh, and it's something that they don't see a lot. So it does, it does kind of get the defenses off guard. Um, our receiver coach really came up with a good concept for us there. And then here's another play from the other side of the field um, right there. He should have went up the middle rather than around, but still he's able to make a big play and get us a big, uh, a big down there. So uh, one thing, I just apologize if the uh, film's a little bit uh, grainy and laggy. I'm trying to figure out how to get my film uh, properly showing on uh, YouTube. So appreciate the patience on that. Again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, and like this video and share it with anybody, whether it's coaches, fans, or people just want to get to know more about football. Appreciate your support and we'll see you again.